we have a voice agent and a chat agent, and they're both going to be using the same knowledge base. Makes it very easy for someone who wants to spin up a couple of agents quickly, leveraging the same knowledge base. You don't have to go to different programs and stumble through different things and write different variables. It's all in the same place. Makes it super easy, so let's go. So coming on down to the AI studio, once I go into my virtual agents, I'm going to see that I have Morty Mortgage and Mary Mortgage. Now the knowledge base we're using as part of those is actually going to be this fake website. And that way we're not using any customer or company details. We're actually using a fake website that has all the information for this fake financial firm. Again, with the alliteration. So we have loans, contacts about us with uh, frequently asked questions about us, et cetera. And uh, loans has all the information about different auto loans and mortgage loans and all kinds of things. So let's go back over into here. We're gonna start with the voice agent named Morty. Now today we're gonna do something special by adding a skill for the first time. And skills, of course, leverage variables. Let's dive in. Remember we select a name, we select a brain, and away we go. Knowledge base is that Heart Financial, which is the web scrape from that website. Now we're gonna add a skill. That skill is something that is super easy, but it provides a much more customized experience, and it's going to be using the caller's first name. So once we go and drop that in here, then we're going to look for a trigger description. This describes to this virtual agent where this should be used. So this says after the caller says their first name, which of course you saw in the introduction, they are asking for the first name. We're going to remember it and continue using it throughout the conversation that provides a much more personalized experience. The other thing I wanna mention here too is by using a variable creating it, we now can pass that variable along to any real life human agents. So now we people who are calling into a credit union or a bank or et cetera, and they're not current customers. If you greet them by a name, you can then pass that over. So then the agent doesn't say, who am I speaking with? They say, hey, Bill, I saw that you were speaking with one of our virtual agents and you continue that personalized experience. Such a great experience for somebody. So today, in order to, we're gonna use the forward slash to access variables and tools. We're just asked a variable today and we're looking for first. Right, and we're gonna look for the customer first name. So whenever a caller says their first name, remember it as customer first name. We're going to look at that again for first, and we're going to look for customer first name. So they're going to say the customer first name, customer first name. After mentioning, after capturing this first uh, name, ask how you can help them today. So that is going to be saved as our first skill as a part of the series. So now you have a skill that captures a name that can be passed along to Zoom Contact Center, that can be passed along in several different ways. So let's go ahead and try out Morty. Hi there, my name is Morty, and I'm here to help you get to the right folks for your mortgage questions. Who am I speaking with today? You're speaking with William. Great to meet you, William. How can I assist you with your mortgage needs today? I was, Morty, I was wondering if you could help me find out what's the current range of rates on a 15-year fixed mortgage. Certainly, William. I'll look up the current range of rates for a 15-year fixed mortgage for you right away. Based on our latest information, William, 15-year fixed mortgage rates typically range from 5% to 7% APR. Keep in mind that your specific rate may vary depending on your credit score and the type of loan you choose. You know, also, uh, Morty, I'm a pretty tech-savvy guy. Um, does your... Uh, credit union allow me to deposit checks, checks remotely? I appreciate your tech savviness, William. Let me check on remote check deposit options for you. Great news, William. You can indeed deposit checks remotely using our credit union's mobile app. Just snap a photo of the check and you're all set. Well, Morty, I'm going to ask you the question I ask all my bots. How do you make a banana sandwich? I appreciate your creativity, William, but as a mortgage specialist, 
I'm not equipped to give cooking advice. How about we focus on your financial needs instead? Perfect. Now, I'm going to end the test there. Of course, I could get transferred over to an agent. And by using variables and skills, which you saw how difficult that was, it was a slash and simple instructions. And now you're able to make that connection seamless for your members in your credit union. Now, let's go ahead and switch gears. So let's go to Mary Mortgage. Now, Mary is going to be doing something very similar as Mary... Uh, lots of Mort mortgage, <laughs> excuse the alliteration. Um, so we can also include some starter questions. We didn't do that today. We're just focusing on the skills. Again, that same knowledge base. And from a skill perspective, let's go ahead and look for an instruction-based skill, right? Now, if we wanted to get in this curated flow skill, we can do that at a future date. But today, we're going to stick with instruction-based skill because that's exactly what we did with our friend Morty. So... We're going to copy some instructions and names. The name is going to be, uh, for this skill, use Chatter's first name. And then it's going to be from a, a trigger description. We're going to, after the Chatter mentions their first name, be sure to remember it and use it in subsequent conversation. And we're also going to provide some instructions. Those instructions, whenever a Chatter remembers their name, remember it as, again, simple slash. We're going to search for first because that's the variable for the customer first name. And then we're all going to do that again for the duration. We're giving them those instructions. We're looking for first. And we're going to say customer first name and ask them how we can help today. We've created a chat bot, a chat agent. We've created a, a voice agent. So now we're going to begin a test here with Mary. Who am I chatting with today? I'm just going to type in William because that's me. <laughs> can I assist you with your mortgage or loan needs today? Um, what is your current range of rates for a 15 year fixed mortgage? So Mary's going to go ahead and dive into that. You can see she actually finds the source on the site, which this new page links back to that fictitious homepage site. So we're great there. And I'm going to ask, um, do you offer an option to cash checks remotely? Oh, it's not cash checks. It's deposit checks. Let's see if she catches me on this. Um... You can deposit checks remotely. So she corrected me there, which is great. Uh, offers Also offers Zelle. Oh, great. So we offer Zelle as well, and we have that under the FAQs. So that way, if someone needs to find out where that answer comes from. And last is going to be how do you make a banana sandwich? My favorite random question for bots, because boy, oh boy, do I love banana sandwiches. Not afraid to provide those. So... As you can see here today, we were able to provide two virtual agents. Oh my gosh, to reverted, <laughs> it reverted to mortgage and loan topics. Look at that. And it came back with some more information and some more sources. That's fantastic. So for the um, video today, we covered two virtual agents. We were able to show a voice agent and a chat agent, both from the same knowledge base, leveraging skills and variables 